plane? Well, what are we looking at? We're looking at Quake, and this is the Tiny GL version. Yeah. So tell people what it is. It's a Tiny D GL version. It's a Tiny GL version. Right, run on Amiga. Running on the. Amiga 600. Oh, Amiga 600. With the vampire card. With a vampire card. Cool. It runs very slowly. But. It's true. It's an early version. Yeah. When do you think this uh, guy started actually doing it? Like, when he started to... About a month ago. Well, consider it pretty well, because he's got most of the details right. But... Well, the game is already there. All he's done is convert it. Well, all he's done is converted it to run on this. And Tiny GL has converted it to, to SDL, which don't mean a lot, but it's quite difficult. Ah... Uh... I think it stops at this right and just. Oh no, it don't. It's still going. Is it? Usually, when it's running properly, all that writing flies up really quickly. I guess not then. Guess not what? Guess not as. Not, not at the moment, no. No. But it's still working, it's still loading. If you're running in, Windows, in window mode, if you're running in full screen, it won't work. Because it's like overload or something. I don't know why it won't. Yeah, that's odd. Well, there'll be a reason for it. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Now it's waiting for you. Okay. Wait, so. Oh, what other thing did this play on then? What did it play on? What originally? Yeah. PC. Ah, uh, but is it still like blocky? But the this would be now, or is it like? Is it still blocky? It, it can be blocky, but they can also make it look quite nice. Yeah. Can't read the line. It's too small. Just custom. Oh, single player, multiplayer, options, help, quit, single player. Yeah, this, this looks really, really slow. It looks really, really slow. I'd probably never have a patience to actually play this game. Well, it's not for playing at the moment, it's just for seeing if it works. Yeah, because he asked. Most games, when they start making new games, they don't work properly at the beginning. So this could be really cool. Well, it could be. It's ever finished. Now usually that would be opening really quickly. But you can see it's quite slow. Then you need more RAMs to actually. No, it's the actual code, the program is slow. The machine's very fast. Ah. Uh, so it's just the game. Yeah. So he's just made a disc for the. Uh... Yeah, kind of. Okay. The fact that it works at all is what we're interested in. Not that it works very quickly or slowly, it doesn't matter. It's just the fact that it actually starts. Yeah. Never seen that before. Never seen that before. Looks like it's working. I don't know how you drive it. WSD, I would think. Yeah, that's how it goes on this one. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, that that is pretty slow, but yeah, it works. That's the thing. You can speed it up after. 
good job for him to actually make it uh, make a start on actually get it working on the Commodore. Just fair play to him. Uh, that's Tiny GL Quake, 16 bit. <clears throat> you can see it's running about one or two frames per second. Mm hmm. It's a little bit leisurely. Yep. But it works. You need AHI sound preferences to get it going. Sound set up or it won't work. It has to be in window mode. Ooh. Um You're not making lots of noises down the microphone, are you? No. Yes you are. You're no, I was actually really out. I was breathing out. So that's how quick quake, quake runs. It should run at this sort of speed. Obviously this is not quake, but this is Doom. How quick you'd expect it to run. Have I, they've made a new one of Doom. They have. Oh, I really want to see that because it looks sick. Oh yeah, I've played this one before. We played it. We didn't play it. Um, we played it on the uh, Amiga, right? We did play it on Amiga. Yeah, we did. That sounds good to show you. Looking forward to that. Doom looks so cool in this one as well. They've done such a good job on Doom. Like, they got it to look so fast. 